Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody is having a great day. Well today we have an unbagging. So let's get this open and see what we got. So I can get it. Come on. It's acting weird. Alright. Get rid of the bag. Right, give me one second here. Whoops. Maybe. Okay, give me two seconds. All right, we'll go this way. All right, this is from DIY Choose. And this will be in two parts because there's so much of it. So let's just start with this top one and see what we got. Now you really can't tell, so I'll have to open it here. You don't get a full view. Is it bag? The bags are kind of crinkly. This is kind of a dark picture, but it is 40 by 50, and it's of a Victorian house in winter. Let's see if I can pull you in. And I don't know if it's going to have this yellow background or if it's going to be brighter. You know, like it's twilight. That's what it kind of looks like, you know, so you can see all the lights in the house and that kind of thing people walking down the street so we'll see how that goes we lay that over there for a second comes with a grid or graph and this uh, key let me back you out just a bit this key will match the canvas so it has 29 colors now this is not too bad you might want to take it up a notch you know to like blow it up a little bit for your own benefit I mean I can pretty much see what everything is but I'd kind of like a better view but that's okay and it comes with didn't have another page all right just checking it's so it's not a DIY you know kit does have instructions. Let's take a look at all of these beautiful colors. We have, I don't know what color that is. Oh my goodness. It's kind of a, a tan brown, if you will. It's got a little honey looking to it. I, I don't know. It's beautiful though. So that may be the, uh, let me see. Does it say? No, it says number eight. Number eight. I don't know where that goes. Hmm. Because number ten is the background. Number eight is yellow. So it's kind of like the, the edge of the, the trees. And then you'll have another color, which is number ten. So it'll be this cup for the background on the sky. It'll be this yellow, and then this will be like right around the edge of the the trees up there. But let's take a look at the the colors. Hold on, let me get a lot of holding on today. Everything is like just nice long threads, very soft. Look at those purples. Mm. And the blues. And then you have the yellows and browns. Kind of a medium bittersweet, if you will. And then a dark burgundy. And a little bit of green, dark green. And a little bit of more dark green for your 
your trees. And this turquoise is going to go, it looks like, on the house to kind of shade it. Just beautiful, beautiful colors. So it'll be interesting, you know, from this picture. But I do like that twilight look. You know, it's not dark yet, but it's getting there. And like the sun has just gone down and casting this twilight looking glow. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Love all those colors. Look at them all. Mm, yummy. Set that up there. I'm going to keep this over here because it's so small. Now we can get rid of our page. It has two needles. And now this one's a little different. Remember how I told you that most of them have the uh, the product number and then the uh, the size of it up here on top? Well, this has it in the bottom corner. So that's kind of different. But nice and big. This is an 11 count. I almost forgot to tell you. There's no surging around the edges. I have to find my thing. Nice big key over here. That's just lovely. Hmm. You can read everything clearly. It's got the DMC number. It's got the, the DMC number, the symbols, and then the number on the card. And your two needles, of course. So let's see what this is. Well, if I can get it where it needs to be. I'm just all thumbs today. Okay, so it's a tad bit over 50. And up and down is uh, 39 and a half. But there's very, I don't know if you can see this, very little edge here, very little edge here. It's a little bit wider over here where your key is, which is nice. And it does have some instructions along the bottom. This pattern's printing pigment is water sol soluble. Stop to get wet. The picture is only for reference as for, as for embroidery friends without any commercial activities. I don't understand what that means. In order to make the embroidery clearly visible, so use special symbol substitution. I have no one symbol instead of one embroidery thread. So the on this I don't this didn't make too much sense to me. I'm sorry. So don't read it. No. Just just stitch it like you would. Alright, let's see how big the actual picture is. It looks like it 18 by 24, but it's not. It's 40, almost, we'll call it at 44. 44, so it's like 17 and a quarter by uh, 13 and a quarter, which is 33 and a half. Nice, easy to read symbols. I don't see a lot of confetti, maybe over here in the tree, you know, a little bit. But it's not like every other one because you're going to have branch looking places. You do have big areas up here to stitch. I'd love to do that house. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I love Victorian houses. I love looking at them. I love going in them. They're just awesome. Just awesome. So it'll be interesting to see how this comes out. But it's got 29 colors, so it should have some really good definition. I'm going to put this right on the inside of that. Flip it. All right. So that one went to the nice. See what else we got. Oh, I love this. It's the one with the dogs all in the, the old truck. Now, I'm not a truck person, so I don't know. I'm sure somebody does. 
I don't know if it's a Chevy. I know it's not a Ford because it doesn't have square headlights. That's my big... That's it. We're done. Yeah, that's about all I know about cars and trucks. But just a beautiful little picture. You got a cardinal up here. You got a house and a barn behind it. Nice red mailbox with another red cardinal up there. You got two dogs with all the puppies. Oh, how pretty. And they're all loaded up. They got the tree and they got presents in there. So, yeah, let's see how exciting and how defined it's going to be. Let's see. That one is, let me look on my, my cheat sheet here. Let's see. This one was 967. The last one, let's see was $7.99. So, this is a DIY, so let's get it open in. Take a look at everything. They usually have really good kits. You know, for the, the price under 10 bucks. come on. Nice. Just a beautiful winter scene. And this is a really good picture does look like it has might be some back stitching you know up here in the the trees and a little bit around all the windows but you could back stitch it as much or as little as you like that's totally up to you oh papers kind of thin now this is definitely going to have to be what do you call it blown up it does have 25 colors gives you the color of the thread DMC, the symbol, and the number on the card. It says it, it this is the, the pat, this is what I was talking about. The pattern, or the pattern number, the product number, the size of it, and how many squares. And this, shh, this is, a, I had to look really quick. It's an 11 count, so it's 173 by 116, if you're counting that way. But it looks a little, hmm. We'll see. We will see. Take a look at those beautiful colors. And I'll kind of lay the, the picture down there. I love that red truck. Oh my gosh. It's just so beautiful. Nice big long threads. They're very soft. Does have the product number on the thread card. I like that. It's a nice touch because, you know, I lay stuff down and, oh, I might work on something else and I come back and I go, oh God, what does that go to? But that number right there is going to be on your canvas. Isn't that beautiful? Mm, look at that color. Mm, I don't even know what color that is. It's beautiful. It looks like watermelon, if you will. I couldn't think of what it could compare it to. But you got some whites, some grays, lots of blues and reds. Just beautiful. And the snowy background and the blues to pick up all the shadowing. Hmm. I don't know what colors the dogs are. We'll get there. We'll get there. So some of these lighter tans are probably for them. But the puppies are so cute in the truck. I just loved it. Oh my goodness. Yes, nice, lovely threads. I like it when they're long. But just beautiful colors. Just beautiful. And there's not a lot of, um, you know, the evergreen thing that I always get stopped at. You know, you got the evergreen tree here, and you got a little bit of looking evergreen where the, uh, hang on where uh, oh the wreath is made of evergreen but at least there's not a bunch of evergreen trees back there but yeah I love this it's just beautiful and it doesn't say there's anything other than cross stitch in this so I like how they keep it simple and like I said do your own thing you know you can always you know Beef it up if you want. Just depends what you're into. 
So sometimes I think it, it needs a little back stitching. Okay, let me turn it around. <coughs> Excuse me, I gotta get a drink. I get to talking and my throat gets dry. All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. This is kind of confetti. 25 colors, nice big thing. It matches the paper. There is a picture right here. You can almost see it if you get back from it, but not in any great detail. Just beautiful. Two needles. There's no surging around the edge. Does have the. I'm trying. Let me back you out again. There we go. Has the product number, how big it is, and the squares. So it's 173 by 116. It is an 11 count. Has a lot of uh, material down here on the bottom. It does have a surged edge right there. And it's not too big. I like that part. Let's see if it meets up to its expectations here. Just a second. Got to get it going. In the right direction, Laura, would be possible. All right, it is 48. And counting the surge edge, it is 39. So if I went to the, the edge of the surged edge, where it starts, it's, I'm trying, 37. So it would be right on. So they don't count that in the size because it is a waste. I mean, you're not going to stitch there. I don't understand. So it's close. Whoops. Let's see how big the other one is. It is, oh, the actual picture is 38 by 26, so it's like 10 and a half, 15 by 10, 10 by 15, but nice clear symbols though, they're just absolutely beautiful, you can see them all, I like that part, that's, I don't know, that's kind of the reason why I personally do 11 count, is because you can actually see what the symbol is, but nice, clear symbols. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Nice canvas. It's fairly heavy, but that's okay. It'll break down. And if you want, you can crunch it, you know, so that you can get a hold of it better. But I have yet to have any of these that I've gotten I don't know, maybe ever, cut my hand. Some people, you know, have uh, more sensitive hands than I would. I use my hands a lot at work, um, cleaning stuff, so my hands have kind of toughened up, if you will. But, yeah, I think this is going to be beautiful. But it, it's a, yeah, it, the whole thing looks pretty confetti. If you can see all that. So just start in with one color and go for it, kids. That's all I can tell you. Start at one side and work it your way through. But I think it's going to be beautiful. Mm. Hardly wait to start that. I love that. Mm. I just love the picture. Just absolutely loved the picture. They're so cute. Look at them. Now if they turn out half as cute as they are you know. But yeah, I would add some background not background, back stitching, you know, like on the puppies to define their faces and yeah, I would just I would add a lot to that. But doesn't call for anything other than cross stitch, so don't panic. That's just me and my I'm trying to get everything to lay down that it does not not helping. 
All right, let's look at the third one. It is a Joy Sunday. Also, they have their own, they have a, a separate section for Joy Sunday at their store. I do like that. And uh, for orders over $39, you get free shipping. So that's always good. They have diamond painting, cross stitch, paint by number, beaded cross stitch. They also do customs. They have paint by numbers. And get this, I, I was freaked out, okay? Because I've never seen this. You know, you get, it says they have paint by number. Well, this place not only has, you know, pictures that are paint by number, like we're used to seeing, they have paint by number crafts. So they have several of those, and they have a big section of paint by number fans. Never seen a fan in a paint by number. So I thought that was kind of cool. I Not that I want to do paint by number, but I just never saw a paint by number fan. And they have some kind of uh, other crafts, you know, miscellaneous that I can't just check it out. But I just thought that was interesting. I'd never seen anything other than, let's say, this picture that you were going to do paint by number with. So I thought that was just, yeah, different. They have mystery diamond paintings. And they have a big selection on both of those. They have... Uh, regular round square custom they have um, what do you call it special drills and they also have a separate section where you can if you buy so much you get so much off so and it's called um, like a purchase strategy type thing so you get the most kits for your purchase so check that out too let's take a look at this one right now it's a 30 by 34 it's a 14 count isn't that beautiful look at those roses <gasps> I can smell them now let's open it up beautiful be joy Sunday bag nice ziploc bag they're just lovely I love those bags everything should come in those bags pull that out put that up there does have all the instructions on the back but isn't that a beautiful picture you know, those roses and daisies and oh um, 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 yeah y'all know what those are looks like a tulip that's been you know the ruffled edge tulips I love those they're so pretty and that vase mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. this is a partial and so you only do the vase of flowers and flowers and stems and leaves and look at the definition on those leaves doesn't look like any back stitching at all on that one let's see here is your booklet nope it only calls for full stitch beautiful heavy duty booklet big easy to read just gorgeous I like that part it has the uh product number here that they have right here on the uh, the front of it both numbers I love Joy Sunday when they do this now this has 31 colors in that so you know there's going to be some definition in there this key does not match the one on the uh, booklet or on the canvas so Let's take a look and see what the colors look like. Oh my goodness. They're short. Two needles. Does have the number for the product. <laughs> Just one. It has now this is the, the other ones. It says number 31. This is the DMC number. And there's only one thread of this DMC number. But they've done it for each and every one of the colors. I like these kind of kits so that you can see what the DMC number is and the shading. This right here tells you it's this shade. So when you're looking, you know, you can find it quicker. 
just absolutely beautiful. Look at those blues. They're to die for. And then you got reds and this. There's some more of that watermelon. This looks more like bubblegum. The other one had another color in it and it looked like watermelon. And the greens, oh, just fabulous. Then you have the oranges and the reds. More greens. There is a lot of greens in this. Shades of green. And it tells you how many strands of each there are in this red number, then the DMC, and then the actual number for the thread. So this number 10, and that's what will be on the canvas. But just beautiful. It says it's 14 count. I don't know what that means. Or this over here. I do know that that is the product number. So, nice and easy to see and read. But look at all those colors. Just in that little picture. Oh my goodness. 31 colors. Mm. It says, Blossom Flowers in Vase. I'm trying to get it to lay down just a bit. It is surged all the way around because it's a joy Sunday. Nice, easy to read key. Runs all the way across here. And it runs all the way over here. Nice, easy to read symbols. Has the thread number, the symbol, and the DMC number. They're all easy to read. Let's see. Gotta get to my paper. This one was a little bit bigger. And this one, oh, I forgot to tell you. Hang on. Flowers in the vase. This one's $5.99. So it's a 34 by okay. And the one I told you the red truck was $9.69. And what else? And the uh the street one was $7.99. But nice bright colors. That's what I just love about Joy Sunday. You can actually see what you're going after. Even though this is a 14 count, this is very clear. Very, very clear. Just easy symbol. Because sometimes when it gets to be a 14 count, especially if it's a full coverage, that's where I have the problem. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, seeing the symbols. So... Let's take a look here. It's supposed to be, okay, it's a little tiny bit over 30. Now that's right, and it is a tiny bit over, let me get there. It's like 34 and a half, so it's bigger than it said it was supposed to be. That's good. And it's 23, which is a little over nine inches nine by by ten and three quarters and it's twenty seven and a half so not too far off you're gonna lose a little on the outside edge because those numbers on the front remember are of the entire canvas, not the actual picture. But just really a beautiful, beautiful kit. Just beautiful. It has both those numbers and what it is up on top, so there's no mistake in it. Nice canvas. It says 127 by 150, so it's good fair size. You know, it's a nice size. Not overdone. You can work on little sections at a time. I like that. And you don't have to do the background. This is another one that if you want to get carried away and, you know, put some, what do you call it, back stitching in it, you can go for it. Just beautiful. Isn't that a pretty picture? I just love the reds and the blues and all the shades. It's just awesome. All right, guys, 
that is all. Thank you DIY Choose for sending me these lovely products. We will have part two probably either later today or tomorrow. Thank you for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell and that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy, God bless, and we will see you tomorrow. Keep stitching. Bye-bye.